Morning Leo, welcome to your general weekly reading. We're going to get straight to it. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Five card horseshoe spread. Present position, present expectation, short term future. Sorry, unexpected, short term future, long term future. Energy on the bottom, the stalemate card, the two of swords. Mm. This is interesting. Um, right, it's a tough on this, Leo. Three major arcana to begin with, so it's an important week. It's a big old week. Present position, um, you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not rich enough, you're not clever enough, you weren't loved enough, you don't love enough. All of this stuff is absolute nonsense, but that's what's in your hearing at the moment. That's what's in your ear. The devil sits on your shoulder, whispers into your heart and says all of that nonsense that I've just repeated there. You are good enough. It's as simple as that. I don't care what you've done in your life. I don't care if you murdered your parents, yeah? You are good enough. That's it. Um, sometimes people do despicable, horrible things. They they know no better, you know. The universe has a plan. I don't know what it is. I don't know why babies are taken so young. It's a horrible thing. But the universe has a plan. You just have to trust to that. I don't, I don't know. I can't answer that question. But the devil does all of that. It, it tries to put the blame on you. It's your fault, you know. There's a sense of stagnation in this reading. The stalemate card there... You got those two swords rubbing against each other and there's an important message being lost because you're just wittering over the details you know the bigger picture is like you wash up no you wash up you wash up no you wash up and it's like is this because you're falling out of you working nights are you falling out over money are you falling out because you think this person's having an affair yeah so it, it's about getting to the bigger picture and there is a bigger picture coming through as well you've got the wheel of fortune card here the destiny card this talks about, you know, fate being out of our hands and something coming in and blindsiding you. Um, in a more traditional read, it's that the wheel of fortune is, you know, the wheel turns and it asks you to step on. Um, you can do that vertically or horizontally. It's like, are you going to get on this Ferris wheel or are you going to wait for it to come all the way back around? Imagine a Ferris wheel with only one carriage on it and it's almost coming around. It's your turn to step on. It doesn't stop. It just slows down and you step in or you don't and then it goes back around again and it lets you off at different points, yeah? So you go in one door and you come out another. If you miss stepping on, the universe goes, don't worry, it'll come back around again. Now this turn may take a year. It might take five years. It might take a lifetime, you know? It's going, here's the partner, here's your soulmate. Oh, you didn't get on board. Okay, you've got to wait now for your soulmate to reappear again. Um, so it's that kind of energy. The train is in the station. It's time to get on the train. And people stand in the station going, well, there's three trains. Which one is it? Just get on the train. You just need to. If, if you feel like um, adventure's calling or a, there's an opportunity, yeah, don't listen to the whisper of the devil about you not being good enough. Jump on board. Yeah, and when you jump on board, what happens is you find you have more than enough strength to do whatever's been asked of you. She's got an infinity symbol above her head, which means she can do this all day long. She's standing up for a creature that literally cannot stand up for itself. Broken arrows mean an end to hostilities. The um, sprinkling olive leaves over the head of the snake there, you know, it's about finding a resolution. It's about this this unlimited inner strength that you have to kind of battle through you know we were talking about babies being taken earlier on you know children die under the age of i don't know two or something how horrendous is that for a parent but you find your strength you find your courage you know and in the background here there you go look at all those swords and halberds you're against an army you know that's attacking you and she stood there naked and unafraid you know nakedness in the tarot is, is about uh, honesty and authenticity you know she's like yep ready when you are so you've more than enough strength to do whatever life throws at you short-term future is get out of your own head you know it's a nightmare um but this isn't real you know okay the rabbit looks like it's been impaled what on a, a transparent sword that that sword's not real that's not blood those are rose petals this is all in your own head it's just a dream yeah it's it's a bit like going to the dentist and thinking this is going to be horrible and it's not and you go three months later it's going to be horrible and it's not how many times do you have to go to the dentist before you go actually i'm worried about this too much it, i'm not saying it's not uncomfortable but it's certainly no more painful than stubbing my toe yeah and then your long-term future which is really nice to see um is after the two of wands which is kind of 
uh, the pioneering card and sort of sowing the seed this is about those plans coming to fruition so after you've kicked the devil in the arse and said no i'm ignoring that i'm going to take whatever life throws at me with real strength yeah real ability <clears throat> i'm going to ignore all these nightmares i'm going to get out of my own head i'm going to these two cards here work in tandem you know if the devil says you're not good enough and you go you're right that's you kind of linking this circle together yeah and what you need to do is you need to break that cycle yeah if you break those two cards there you end up with whatever life throws at me i'm strong enough to do with it and not only that i deal with it so well i inspire other people to do the same thing look at that so this gull here is going for that particular fish in that school of fish but there are other gulls up here are all going what a great way to get food this is inspiring yeah so you're going to find yourself in a very inspiring position you're going to lead by example really like to see that for you leo <clears throat> let's just get some clarity on these cards let's see what the devil's going to say when we put another card on top of it. the tower yeah there's a change coming in that can always feel a little bit diff difficult and a little bit scary um and it is and it should be but you know the only constant in life is change things happen to us that that's all there is to it they were in a situation where they built this fantastic life for themselves but there's no door so when the lightning struck and it caught fire, they went, oh, I hadn't planned for that, hadn't, hadn't thought about this, hadn't considered how to get out of the situation we're in. Now we're trapped in this situation. And what it talks about is, you know, we're going to go to ground zero, we're going to level this off, and we're going to build a better future together. And on top of that, wheel of fortune on top of destiny. So this is exact, this is doubling down. So this is your card. This is your reading. The train is in the station. Get on the train. Yeah. Which train? Don't ask me that. I'm just going to repeat the same thing. The universe would say the same thing. So if you're at Euston and you don't know where to go, it's going to go get on the train. You go, which train? It's going to go get on the train. Which train? It's just going to keep saying get on the train. And the idea is you get on the train and go, why am I going to Glasgow? I don't want to go to Glasgow. We'll get off for the next stop. And the next stop says, do you want to go back to where you were coming from or do you want to go to the coast? Do you know what? I'm going to go to the coast and see what happens. Or I'm going to meet my soulmate in the station. Yeah. Or I'm going to have a sandwich and think about it. You know. So that's all it is. It's, the train is in the station. It doesn't matter if you get on the wrong train. There is no wrong train. Uh, the devil. So you got the devil twice as well. And this is, again, this is really clever. The devil goes, you're not good enough. And you go, yes, I am. And the devil goes, you're not good enough. So you need to, so which of these two cards is going to win? Yeah. What's important about this card is the chains that are holding you back. Yeah. The, the chains around these necks here. The devil is not holding them back. Yeah. The devil isn't doing it. There's this block down here. But the, look how loose the chains are. Those two people can just take the chains off from around their necks and walk away. He's not going to stop you. He's got other things to do. He's going to he's going to belittle the ones that say chained up. Yeah, that's what he is. He's got more than enough people he can berate and abuse and take the Mickey out of. If you take the chain off and go, not today, devil, I'm out of here. It'll be just like that's it. So which card do you want to be? Do you want to be strength or do you want to be the devil? And if you don't know, I'll give you a little clue. I'll put the card on top that I think you should be. Not telling you which one because that's not what Taro does. But you know, what do you want to be? Devil or strength? Uh, hanged man so yeah you, you've been in i'm not saying it's not tough this week because it is so you're in for a bit of a tough week but you know you need to see the bigger picture hang yourself from the tree of knowledge upside down it is a card of stagnation because when he does this he's not moving forward so it's about stopping and thinking and going do you know what i'm really going to see the other person's point of view or in this case i'm really going to stop and think why i think i'm not good enough what is it that the devil's saying to me that i'm in my own head believing yeah so someone could say to me steve you're fat and bald and i go yes i am because that's the truth you know that i'm not i'm not debating that someone could say you're cruel and i'll go well i'll fight you in the courts over that one because the last thing i am is cruel so you've got to work out is, is the devil telling the truth is he whispering in your ear and going you're not good enough and you go you're right i'm not good enough so i'm going to go to night school and be better yeah I, you're not rich enough based on what do you live in a house? Do you live on the streets? If you're reading this, if you're watching this reading, I think you're fairly well off. You've access to a computer or a mobile device in a country that lets you do it. I think you're in a pretty good place. Um, Long-term future, Page of Swords. It, there's a, a real sense of, of wanting to get going, you know. 
uh, Page of Swords. It's ready to cut through the red tape. It's ready to get... This card is a great one. If you look at the guy's face here, he's like... I'm, I'm, he's about to knock somebody's block off. You know, it's windy, it's turbulent, it's... There's a storm brewing, but he's like, I'm ready when you are. So, you know, ultimately, it's like, if you put these two cards together, the devil's going, hey, how are you doing? I'm, I'm pretty busy, and I'm just going to ignore you. And he's like, no, no, bring it on, bring it on. I will knock your block off, yeah? So that's what you need to do. There's your energy. You've got more than enough strength to do it. It's the Wheel of Fortune time, so the train is in the station. What are you going to do? All right, have a great week. I'll see you next week. You're in for an interesting one. I'll see you next time. Take care.